thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I welcome you to another discussion and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this, whether you have experienced it and what your thoughts are. Welcome to everybody who is joining us for the first time. I truly do appreciate your time and hope that you find that you are met with some helpful information. Today I want to talk about how narcissists use religion to date as well as future fake. I think it's kind of important that we have this discussion because everybody, not everybody is on the same page. Some are more advanced and are actually advanced in their healing, that is, and are actually ready to step out and begin to mingle and get to know, know new people. And for those who are not there yet, it's okay. Pace yourself. And really, you know, don't focus on I want a relationship with that type of thing because it can come it can become dangerous to you and your overall well-being if you rush yourself engage in the process because on the other side of the valley there is beauty and also a table that has been prepared for you but I think it's an important discussion for us to have because one thing the enemy will never stop trying to do is bring you down but what we must know is that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds we've got to be able to discern who is coming into our lives or who is attempting to come into our lives as well as what those you know what their ulterior motives may be once you have an, a level of awareness the enemy will try to be a little more sneakier the next time and send a different type of minion into your life. So it may be a little more difficult to decipher that mm, is this person really a narc? It may take you longer. But here's the thing. There's always going to be signs and indicators. And this is what I want this discussion to be about. Now, because many of us are, you know, we are, we profess our faith, whatever your faith may be, because this doesn't just apply to the Christian faith, Although here, you know, I am a Christian and many people who engage are, but there are many different faiths. And so it doesn't matter what your faith is. However, back to the topic, you find that the narcissist will present themselves as upright and righteous, full of morals, and they will even test you and question you on your standing on your biblical knowledge, on your morals, on your standards, and on your relationship with God. How often do you pray? Do you fast? Well, I fast three times a week. Oh, what did you give up for Lent? And they'll go off on a rant about what they gave up for Lent. And it's always going to be so much more superior than you. You got to pay attention to the signs. Another thing that you will find is that they will want to monopolize your time, keep you busy doing things of the church. Now, what do I mean? You'll find that they'll want to engage you in Bible study. And for us, we may think, oh, finally, I've got somebody who likes the things that I like. But you've got to test the spirit by the spirit. And this is where you now ask God to give you discernment because you don't want to do all this work to heal, to get over your past narcissist, to get over that past hurt, that past encounter, only to encounter another fool, you know, a, a, a whole wolf in sheep's clothing. We're not going to do this again. And so you've got to look out for the signs, you know, they'll want to monopolize your time and, you know, really, really try to drill the Bible in you. And especially when you want to share a lot in the Bible or, you know, it makes you excited because this is what you like. This is what you enjoy. You're seeking somebody who is searching after the Lord's heart. They will know these things about you and they will, they will, they will act as if you're on the same page send you lots of youtube videos about different pastors 
even ask you, well, what church do you go to? And then smear the name of your own pastor and tell you, well, you know, that pastor and list a whole bunch of things that will say he or she is not good enough. And then list somebody else's, you know, this is who you should be listening to. And then begin to send you that person's information, that person's videos, that person. Now, I'm not saying that you can't listen to that person. Take the good, leave the bad. But be very discerning. Once they come into your life, you know, you're going to see that they're going to begin to test you. They'll do little things, ask you things. They'll try to see where do you stand as far as sexual sin. They're going to let you know that, you know, I'm upright in every area of my life, but I struggle in this area. A lot of the time it does involve, you know, sexual desires and tell you things like, well, we're going to get married eventually. And, you know, you use your desire for marriage. Use the things that you say that you want as a as a carrot to dangle in front of your nose simply so that they can fulfill their own desires they know what they want they're still predators they're collecting numbers they're seeing how many they can get how many souls that they can indoctrinate in their in their father's camp they take on a form of godliness but they are not who they say that they are and so I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to end here, but I really just want you to test the spirit by the spirit. A lot of us, myself included, got into a relationship without even consulting God and then had to ask God to help me get out of that relationship. Let's go to God first. Let's ask him, who is this person? Reveal their intentions, expose their character, expose their heart. God, is this okay? And we've got to be willing to actually wait for him to speak back to us. We've got to be willing to wait for the signs. And we've got to be willing to trust his answer. Because everything about this narcissist is going to feel familiar. Because you love the word. The enemy is like, uh, you know, the em enemy of roams around watching. We live, in, we live in an earthly realm, but we are surrounded by a spiritual realm, monitoring spirits, territorial spirits, familiar spirits. They are all working in tandem to try and fulfill the agenda of their father, of the one who sent them. And so anything that they can do to take you down they will so you cannot let your guard down you cannot let your guard down this narcissist exists to cause you to slip and should you engage in any sexual activity with them there goes the loophole so i want to encourage you i'm not here to scare you i'm encouraging you that you have power you are in control nobody can make you do anything you don't want to do your future is bright because you have all the information and the knowledge that we did not have before. We know. We know what is out there. We we know how we need to protect ourselves going forward. So we, we rise victorious. We cannot lose because we are king's kids. And that's just the truth. So I thank you so much for your time. I hope that this helps somebody. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless you.